find y prime at the point xy equal to 1 comma 3 for the equation xy plus quantity 1 plus y raised to the 1 half equals y plus 2. First thing we want to do, check that our point 1 comma 3 satisfies the equation. So we put 1 and 3 in for x and y, what comes out? We have 1 times 3 plus 4 to the 1 half. That together gives me a 5. And then on the other side, we have 3 plus 2. That gives me 5. So we definitely satisfy the equation. Now, to get y prime, what we're going to need to do? We're going to need to go through this business of implicit differentiation. Two things to note. First, we have an equation. We're going to hit both sides with derivative with respect to x. So if two things are equal, when I hit them with those derivatives, what comes out will be equal also. Next, our equations in terms of x and y. For implicit differentiation, we're going to pretend y is a function of x. So whenever I take a derivative of y, it's an unknown, but it's a function of x, so we're going to hit it with the chain rule, which will mean we have to multiply by a y prime. Finally, you're going to have to do a little bit of algebra to isolate your y prime. We'll get to that when we see it. So let's start with taking the derivatives. All right. Now, what are we going to do? I have x times y. We're going to take the derivative of that with respect to x. So it's going to be a product rule. So it'll be derivative of x is 1 times y plus x times y prime. Okay, derivative of y is just y prime. We don't know what that is. That's what we want to solve. Then I have 1 plus y to the 1 half. So we cover up the 1 plus y. This is going to be chain rule. Bring the 1 half down. Subtract 1 gives me minus 1 half. Put our inside back in, which is 1 plus y. And then I multiply by the derivative of the inside. The 1 goes to 0. Then derivative of y with respect to x is y prime. Okay, that's just your normal derivative. But now you multiply by y prime. All right, on the other side, we have y plus 2. Take the derivative with respect to x, and that's just going to give me y prime. So we've taken all our derivatives, so now we just want to isolate the y. To do that, we push all the y prime stuff to one side, the non y prime stuff to the other. Okay, so that's this thing here. So you'll notice I pushed the y here to the other side of minus y. The y prime on the other side becomes this minus y prime. I can factor out everything from the thing with the y prime on it. So I get y prime by itself, and then we divide by whatever is left over when we factored. So in the bottom of my quotient here, what's factored out is going to be minus 1 plus x plus a half, 1 plus y to the minus 1 half. That's my y prime. Now all I need to do is put 1 and 3 in. That gets me my answer, which has to be a number. We do that. Let's take a look. So notice what's going to happen in the top. That'll be a minus 3. When I put 1 into the bottom, we're going to have a minus 1 and a 1 goes away to give me a 0. So we're only focusing on the 1 half, 1 plus y to the minus 1 half. Now, we're going to put a 3 in there, so I'm looking at 4 to the minus 1 half. You do the 1 half first, so it's going to give me a 2 to the minus 1 or a 1 half. So in the bottom, we have a 1 fourth. I can clean that up by multiplying top and bottom of the big fraction by 4 over 4, which gives me a minus 12 at the end of the day. Now, here's a little trick. If you're looking to get numbers at the end, you don't have to go all through the algebra to isolate your y prime. At step one, we could just stick our numbers in right there after we get our derivatives taken care of. When I do that, what happens? y goes to 3. We have a y prime. We have a y prime on the other side. And then here, by what I just did, we'll have a 1 fourth y prime. Notice we have a y prime on each side, so I can just cancel them out here and here, which is just going to leave me with okay, our 1 fourth y prime equal to minus 3. Push the 4 to the other side, and then that gives you your minus 1 12 again. So this is a useful trick. The messier your implicit differentiation is, the more useful this trick will be.